Here's a little more circle review. We're going to talk about plotting the points, our initial points. No math, just the points. Okay, so first I'm given 10 KSI in the x direction, 2 KSI in the y direction, and 3, S 3 KSI for my shear stress. Now I say x and y direction because that's how it is when I'm actually drawing my element, which I'll draw here on this side. So the things to remember, this is my x direction, this is my y direction, and out is positive. For my shear, it's right up against my box, and if these two arrows, they're always going to be pointing either towards each other or away from each other. If it's pointing towards this corner, it's a positive tau x y. They'll be pointing away from that corner if it's a negative tau x y. But let's, let's draw a more circle here. Both my sigma x, sigma y are positive. So I have my sigma axis. I'm going to leave myself plenty of positive room here. Let's plot 2 ksi is right here. For positive tau x, y, I need to go up for my sigma y. So up 3. 1, 2, 3. I'll write that down real quick. That a positive tau x, y means that my sigma y is up above this axis and that my sigma x is below. Okay, so I'll go to 10. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And I go below the axis. 1, 2, 3. Alright, so I just plotted these two points here. And I connect them, get the center of my circle. I can calculate the radius and roughly draw the rest of my circle. And then I would go on and do my calculations. One thing to notice here is that this is at an angle. Even though our, ori our element here is not at an angle, the angle would be zero. This is where we start measuring our angle theta equals zero. It starts right here. All right, let's look at a different one. So you got four KSI, negative four KSI, and three KSI. Our element would look like this. It's positive outward, negative inward, we got positive shear stress, so it's pointing towards that corner. All right, let's look at more circle. I need to give myself room on both the positive and negative side. Okay, I have a positive tau x y, so like we said in the last problem, positive tau x y means y is up and sigma x is below. So sigma x four and down three. Sigma y is up, negative 4, and then up 3. I connect the dots. And using the radius, I can draw the circle. Now, given that this is a 3, 4, 5 triangle, I could easily tell you right off the bat the maximum stress is going to be 5 KSI. The maximum shear stress is also going to be 5. My minimum uh, normal stress is going to be negative 5 KSI. And uh, technically, this is positive tau, and this is negative tau. So I guess this would be the minimum, this would be the positive. Well, I can tell you that right off the bat. If you compare this with the formulas, you can tell that the average, the midpoint between my sigma x and sigma y, my sigma average. And the formula is just an average as well. I just add the two together and divide it by two, and I get that same value. And looking at the radius formula here, I have a triangle that I can look at. This is my tau xy. This is sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2. And I just do the Pythagorean theorem to find what my radius is. And now since this is a 3, 4, 5 triangle, I could easily know that my radius is 5. I don't even have to plug it into my formula. I've drawn my Mohr circle. I could know that it's 5 without even plugging anything in. The sigma average equals 6 KSI and the radius equals 5 KSI. I don't even have to plug it in, I just know it from more circle.